Matt with rats, and we're about to get started right now. This is the wall where I hear them. Okay. So ever since we moved in, we've had an issue um, with rats uh, here and there. Um, lately, it's it's just been this wall, like okay. it's uh, almost exclusively. And I used to hear them like I can show you in the other room on the sure. other side of this. Yeah, we'd hear them up here, um, you know, scratching and, and everything. And I bang on it. Okay. You know, I'd, yeah. I'd, they always seemed like they went out down that wall. And I thought, well, we must be going down the wall. And then get in somewhere like underneath the house. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go up something. to the roof real quick, yep. kind of explore that. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we're going to get the smoke machine ready to go. All right. And um, and then we'll be sort of back and forth, kind of in and out a little bit. So this is the uh, this is the attic access right here. Okay. Um, the crawl space, there's two places to get into the crawl space. There's okay. one that's inside that bedroom, but then there's one that's outside the house on this on side. On the other side. Okay. Um, we're definitely going to use the one outside. All right. I'm going to go up to uh, Matt's attic here this is interesting so you could see half the rat half the rats right there there's his head and half of his front of his body and then about three feet away is the other half with the tail so this rat trap here just chopped chop this right in half some traps have been uh, sort of deactivated here there's one there one there but check this out you guys so this is brand new blown in insulation as you can see pure white look at this rat hole inside here so there's they're definitely nesting down below here for sure Another burrow right there, guys. See that? I was touching this wood framing here, and look at what... Didn't even see this coming in. Dead, crispy rat. All right, we're uh, getting the smoke machine ready for Matt here. We're going to head up to that roof. All right, so we're heading up to the roof right now. All right guys, so we're up on the roof here and you can see that the, you know, we're not big fans of the silicone with the screen. And uh, this is, even though this is pretty secure, but let me show you a vent here where I think rats have just, with their strong nose and power, pulled this up here. And let's take you to that right now. All right guys, so we came to this one right here, which is the larger diameter vent. You can see that the silicone right here, but look at the screen. It popped off. It was right over here, but I can only assume the only thing that pulled this off was the rodent. So that's why we always recommend using that stainless steel band. It's gonna handle all of the elements. And you know, again, this is just gonna break down with all the elements. Second thing what I did was I put my nose to it and it sure smells. So this is the suspect area and this is where we're gonna be pumping smoke in. Hey, uh, Thompson, Yeah. we're gonna pump smoke underneath the kitchen so just go straight back. Okay. Okay? Okay. All right, so guys, we're uh, starting with the laundry vent right here. Thompson's underneath right now. All right, guys, well, we're getting a bunch of smoke coming out of this standpipe here. That's no bueno. You should never get any water or smoke coming out of here. Should be filled with water, protecting any sewer gases from coming in. So that's an issue. We're going to go ahead and put some water in it just to verify maybe the trap evaporated. So we'll put some water in here and see if it'll stop that. Okay, so Thompson, what'd you find, buddy? Uh, rat droppings, um, holes. Okay. Yeah. Did, any, any nest or anything like and that? Nest too. Okay. They're nesting on the uh, other side. Okay. So we don't have access from that main crawl space? No. Okay. I just spoke to the owner. He's saying that inside the bedroom, there's another access point. Okay. So what we'll do is uh, I'll get access ready and we'll just go under there and 
That way you can get to this area, right? Yeah, right. Okay. As you can see, guys, uh, Matt's house is absolutely spotless. There's there's no food outside or on the counters. I mean, this place is absolutely immaculate, and uh, that's why he's not seeing any rat infestation inside the house. All right, so we're in the crawl space, and where I was in the attic, uh, point to the area, Thompson. Right here. Yeah, right there is that PVC. See the uh, the blown-in insulation, guys. The white. That's exactly right. Directly above was that uh, burrow that they made in the insulation. So we know that there's a runway right where Thompson is, all the way up. Nice little thing. And then show the up. Okay. So Dave, the question is, is how they get in here? All right, guys, well, it's about almost five o'clock in the afternoon. Had a long day and all our crawl suits are gone. I have no crawl suits. So I'm just gonna put on some gloves, mask, put some eyewear on, and I'm about to get dirty. Where? See, right here. <clears throat> We have uh, this, I don't know if it's dead, it's not dead, right? It's alive. Just crappy plumbing. Oh yeah. That's open. They ate Look it. Look at that. And then right they, here. They chewed right through the sewer pipe. Look at that hole right there, you guys. It's a gym cap, it's a rubber gym cap. Uh, if you're gonna cap off, use cast iron caps. So they're coming from the sewer pipes, coming into here, and then into the crawl space. And then into the attic area. Here's another opening. Another opening. Good find, Thompson. Look at this. Oh. So there's another opening right here, guys. There's a big old gap here. What's that? Big gap. Uh, where? Going up right here. Around the parking. Oh, yeah. And they have a yeah, so, <laughs> so, so they're going right in between the wall there. Hey. Yeah, there's hay. They're bringing in nesting material and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to do all our exclusions here. Put in a cap. Proper cap. Seal that off there. And then we're about to probably do about a week to two weeks of monitoring. So at least we found today, late afternoon, we found the entry points. And then right here... All right. Huh? is well, complete access to the, the attic area here, you guys. That's why I get paid the big bucks. I'm walking like this so I don't get this place full of dust. Well, at least we found the holes wide open. Those damn rats came right in from the city. Came right into that big four inch pipe. It's a gym cap which is made of rubber. Chewed their way through. Chewed their way through. Hopped on the pipe. And then got right up into the attic. Okay. Matt, we've got some good news and some bad news. What would you like to hear first? Uh, the good. The good okay. news. Okay. The good news is we found that they are coming from your sewer pipes. Okay. They, you have some breaches underneath the crawl space with two wide open pipes. Oh. Actually, Dave went under there, and uh, they they chewed through. They chewed through a gym cap, Dave, or shoot. And then they're just coming into your home. And now nesting. 
getting their food source outside. That's why you're not getting any any activity inside the home. So I'm gonna offer you this uh, visual here. On top, they create the holes. What happens is as they're traveling through the bone and insulation, and the rat traps are sitting on that light, fluffy, kind of like snow. Mm -hmm. What happens as they're traveling, those things just tip over and right. deactivate. Sure. So uh, the way to really place traps up there is on wood structure, wood framing uh, with the string. And you know, that, that's kind of how you do it. But yeah, right now yeah. it's, yeah. they're all over the place and they're, with, as they're running around, they're just activating. So those, those traps aren't really. There's a couple different options, Matt. One is, we leave this side of the house alone. We focus on the exclusion here well, underneath, yes. cap the pipe off, yeah. do the cleanup, go up to the attic, cap that off, and let's, you're gonna, you may hear a lot more activity because they're desperate trying to get out. Get out of their pathway, because they're coming in and out. So if we block the below, block the sewer, they may be stuck. There's no more food source, so you may hear a lot of yeah, activity, hissing and which like, is a good sign. Yeah, which is a great sign. So if we uh, just cap it and trap them in here, then they're going to die somewhere. Or they're going to start to smell, and then yeah. it's going to be a matter of like. Well, you have access days. to it too, unless unless they die in a wall. It'll dissipate. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right, guys, we're going to go back under uh, Matt's crawl space now <laughs> and uh, <laughs> begin to. Uh, Cover those pipes. Dave's getting suited up to go under to fix that uh, waste piping. Going to be nice and clean when he comes out. Going home clean today. All right, guys, let's get this screen off here. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go with this bad baby. Galvanize with a steel, galvanized uh, threaded coupling this off first. That way you could stretch it on. Like that. Like that. Uh, that'll tell you when to stop that little sound there. Yeah, just snap there, right there. Watch a big old rat just come right out. <laughs> There's no way a rat's gonna get through that. Look at that. All that sharp metal. We've got plenty of metal up there. I think what we're gonna do is just add a layer of the pure black expansion foam in here. So I'm uh, rebaiting these uh, traps. I got a uh, piece of terry cloth here, really tied up against here, and I'm gonna douse it with a bunch of peanut butter. Got a little bit of donut here, another one over here. So we'll uh, we'll see how well these do. Now what we want to do is we want to give it a slight spritz because this will cure the expansion foam really, really well. So a light spritz and then we're going to put wire mesh over that. All right, so that one is set, ready to go. We put it here for a reason because there's a little burrow right here. So we have the little platform there. So there's one, trap number one. All right, trap number two, set. All right, guys, and there's the other one with the terry cloth, completely set and secured. So um, up in your attic, Matt, I've got a, I've got a <clears throat> trap set over here. Mm -hmm. I've got a trap set like over there. 
and then I have two traps set uh, right here. Oh, okay. All right, so we're coming up into the attic. Got one right there. So that's uh, the rag with the peanut butter was the one that uh, that went off. That's what he heard. So you can see the blood mark right there. That's a small one though. You gotta just keep trapping guys. All right guys, these are some smart, smart rats. Um, there might be some mice up here. A lot of times the mice will are so light that they don't activate the, um, the, the traps. So we may have to do something different, but at least we got one and uh, we just need to continue to, to be disciplined on this.